We're going to show the scene this morning at New York's Penn Station. Amtrak says it's expecting a near record number of passengers for the Thanksgiving weekend. Crowds are also lining up for trains in Philadelphia. But across the country, travelers still don't have one option used to run the world for nearly half a century, high-speed rail. Mark Strassman shows us why one state's battle could set the pace for the rest of the nation. In China, this bullet train zips between the cities of Beijing and Zhengao at over 220 miles per hour. So convenient, one local air service went out of business seven weeks after the first train left the station. Andy Kuntz heads an advocacy group called the U.S. High-Speed Rail Association. China now has built almost 10,000 miles of brand new state-of-the-art high-speed rail. All brand new, all fast, all, I mean, the, the best in the world. This is the Acela Express, which runs between Boston and Washington, D.C., with stops in between. It's as close as the U.S. gets to a high-speed line. The top speed is 150 miles an hour, but the average speed is not even half that, 70 miles an hour. But California hopes to connect San Francisco and Los Angeles with America's first true high-speed rail. 520 miles between them. Travel time, three hours. Full service is scheduled for 2029. What are we looking at here? Right, this is the Transbay Transit Center. Uh, this is where high-speed rail will come to the U.S. Jeff Morales is the CEO of the California High-Speed Rail Authority. This massive construction site in downtown San Francisco will become a railway megastation that includes high-speed trains. How fast will these trains go? Around 220 miles an hour. This is full high-speed rail, right? World-class systems will be rivaling the systems in Japan, Spain, elsewhere in Europe. California's system will cost at least $68 billion and is now on hold. On Monday, a federal judge put the brakes on the project. He denied California rail officials the right to sell $8 billion in bonds that voters approved in 2008. But so many Americans are fed up with their daily commute. So why has high-speed rail not become a bigger part of American life? There's never really been a champion for it. And all the existing transportation industries have done everything they can to block it. In Fresno, California's new high-speed rail line will one day run right through Jerry Villanueva's convenience store and cafe. Homes and businesses like this one that are in the way have been ordered to vacate. They're going to do it regardless of how I feel and how the other people in the community feel. Like it or don't like it. And I don't like it because my family businesses will be gone. But the future of American high-speed yep, rail yep, yep, yep. may ride on California's system. Right. How do you explain to people that $68 billion is worth spending? Well, the real question is, what's the price of not doing it, not making an investment like this, given the population growth, given the congestion on our roads already, the congestion at airports? If we don't build this system, what do we do? California has big plans, but has yet to build America's first mile of high-speed track. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, San Francisco. You know, I realize there are a lot of complex issues, but this yeah. just seems like one of those things. China is so far ahead of us on this. Even if it does happen there, it's finished in 2029. Yeah, that was stunning. 16 years from now. Right. But now it's yeah. on hold, so it's probably going to take longer than yep. 2029. Yep.